This is the We Create Vision 40 watt laser, and more specifically, it's the Super Pack. And what that means is it comes with the rotary attachment, a 2 watt infrared laser, and a belt style pass through option that allows you to laser and engrave things much larger than the laser itself. So if you're thinking about getting a laser or maybe you already have one and you're looking to upgrade, then you're going to want to watch this video to see if maybe the vision's right for you. So let's start out by talking about some of its features. I've had this laser going on a month now and I've used it here and there on various different materials. And I guess one of the standout features that I would say made the most difference for me was the auto focusing. Now they claim that this is one of the world's first auto focusing lasers. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't do any research on that, but it doesn't really matter who's first, right? But I can tell you the auto focus feature was super convenient. You basically just put your material in there and then you just hit auto focus. You don't have to worry about blocking there and then moving the laser up and down. The whole outside of this laser moves up and down. The actual case of the laser goes up and down. So I did like that feature a lot. I think that's probably going to be the most useful feature of this review. Hey, you're going to be so glad that you watch this video. You want to know why? Because there's a hidden giveaway in this video. We're not announcing it anywhere. You just have to have happened to watch this video and you get to hear about the giveaway. So you don't have to do anything other than comment in the comment section the word giveaway and you're entered to win. So we use these little rechargeable fans here in the studio for one to save on space and for two you don't have to worry about cords and all of that stuff. It's just as strong as one that you plug into the wall. Now Combola was nice enough to send us out a fan to give away to you guys. Now this fan retails for like 109 and let me tell you these bladeless tower fans they're kind of like the Dyson and they're very sleek and they look good and they're on sale for $69.99 not $109. And they're really geared towards being on your desk or something like that because it even has LED lights in the bottom that you can do. It has three speeds and it oscillates left to right. You can find them on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description in case you just want to buy one but if you want to enter the giveaway Make sure you comment giveaway in the comment section and sometime in the next couple of weeks I'll go through the comments and I'll randomly select a winner and I'll announce it here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you have notifications turned on so you don't miss that. Now another thing that I did like is that it comes with its own software. So we create has its own software and it is free but they do have a paid version. They're only gonna unlock certain features for the paid version. I didn't pay for it, I just used the free version and I got along just fine. Without coming to a point to where I felt like I needed to pay for it because I needed certain features, you might find something different, you might need to pay for it. But for me, just doing everyday laser engraving and cutting stuff, the free version was just fine. Now to me, the software was pretty straightforward. Uh, there were times when I just didn't have a clue of what was going on and, and that's to be expected really with any new software that you're learning you're just not gonna know what to do until you figure it out right but the software it is clean it's pretty simple and it works now another feature this laser has is it has an HD camera built into the lid now if you don't have a laser and you're wondering what the camera does and why you might need it well let me tell you so the camera in the lid it basically takes a top-down picture of your build surface now what that does is it allows you to take your text or your image or whatever you want to laser and basically superimpose that on to your material inside your build chamber. And the laser, it's going to do whatever it does wherever you put your graphics or whatever it is you're going to laser. It's as simple as placing in your material, hitting refresh in the software, and then it takes a new screenshot. And then you basically take your image, place it on the material, right there on the software and that laser is going to go wherever you place your image. So if you're new to lasering, that's kind of a big deal, but most lasers have this feature nowadays. It's nothing new, but it is very convenient to have because that eliminates the need to basically go measure and try to line up your material. That is a huge pain. I've been there, done that, and it's not enjoyable. So having the camera is huge. I wouldn't even buy a laser nowadays if it doesn't have a camera. So if you've ever tried to print something really tiny like this or something really big, it didn't come out good or you don't even have the machine it takes to do it, you can always check out PCB Way. They specialize in high detailed 3D prints across various platforms, whether it be resin, FDM or whatever it may be. They even do metal 3D printing. 
which is awesome for those intricate designs that we can't do here in-house without those high dollar machines. And they also do PCB manufacturing, CNC machining, and a ton more. So whether you're prototyping or kind of just scaling up, or you just want to do a large print and you don't want to go buy that printer just for that one print, or maybe you don't own a printer at all and you just don't want to have the headache of owning one, well, PCB way can help you out. So just go check out their website. It's right here. And I'll even leave a discount code for you in the description. And if you end up using PCB way, make sure you comment. Let me know what you end up getting printed and how you like the service. Now, another thing that makes this laser pretty easy to use is it has the one click matrix for over a thousand materials. It says now I didn't test that. I don't know actually how many materials you can do. It says over a thousand. I'm pretty sure they're not lying, but on the materials that I use your standard basswood and aluminum and stainless steel business cards and stuff like that. You could just simply choose your material and it auto sets the settings for you. So you don't even have to guess on power and speed and stuff like that so that's super convenient as well now this is a class one laser so that means you don't need goggles or anything like that the top glass is going to be protective enough to where you can look at the laser with the lid closed of course and you're good to go now speaking of the lid if you open the lid during the print it's just going to shut off so you really don't have to worry about anything there now one thing i did not like about the laser is that when you do open the lid the led light goes off and so I found that I needed a flashlight or some type of light if my room wasn't bright enough to look down inside the laser. Now those lights are automatically triggered with the lid by magnets up at the top. And I'm sure there's a way to bypass that, but honestly, just for your everyday user, you're just gonna need another light or have a bright room, one of the two. Now here's a quick peek without all the junk on top. And as you can see, I mean, the machine looks good to me. It has an all metal housing, so that's one thing. Even that expansion joint right there, that is metal as well. Very sturdy housing for sure. Now on the lid, I still have the protective film on there, so that little haze you're getting. Uh, yours won't have that. When you peel this off, it'll be nice, shiny, and, and brand new and pretty. So opening up the laser, I can tell you that the lid is very sturdy, right? If you look back here at these back hinges right here, those look like uh, machined aluminum and uh, they're just solid blocks of aluminum for hinges. And so those are really sturdy. And up here on the lid, speaking of the lid, uh, you got your high def camera along with your LEDs that run all the way across here. Now inside the machine, the first thing you'll notice when you look in here is that big 40 watt diode laser. That thing is massive. Now, if you lean on in here and look straight down right here, you're gonna be able to see the grate right here at the bottom. And that's basically where you're gonna sit your material on top. Now, both of these, this two grates right here, as you can see, it splits right there. And then this is gonna be its own separate grate. So you could take those out, clean your tray, whatever you need to do. Now, if we move this laser head out of the way, you'll see this red and white sign back here. And then you see that weird plug with all the little prongs in it. That's where your rotary attachment plugs into right there. Now, other than that, without getting too technical, I mean, on the inside of the machine, there's not much more going on here unless you're trying to break down what type of uh, servo motors or stepper motors this thing has and all of that. Other than that, as far as functionality, that's kind of going to be it. Now, one thing I would like to point out is that it does have this rail system right here uh, for your left and right movement. And then your front to back motion, it's not really on a rail, but as you can see, it's kind of flow, it's kind of connected right here on the side. If you see that that moving, it's kind of a hanging system that's hanging there and it's really sturdy. Now, right here on the front where you see the We Create label, that's gonna be your power button right there. So now that we've got it powered up, you can see it raised up all the way up here that's to allow you to put in whatever material that you might need to put in and then it'll come back in and it'll, it'll refocus and lower itself as needed now look at the real estate that you have in there yeah not too bad huh now they claim to have the easiest rotary system in the market right well i put it to the test i plugged in the rotary and honestly to me it was just as simple as any other rotary attachment now i have had some that are harder than others and this is on the easy side. Typically, whenever you attach a rotary attachment, you just plug it in. 
you measure your cup or whatever it is that you're doing you input that so it knows the circumference of whatever you're going to laser and then you're good to go and then you're basically doing the same thing you were doing with the camera you're just gonna take your graphic and superimpose it on top of the cup wherever you want it hit frame make sure you're good and then hit laser and you're done now with the rotary attachment that's kind of where the two watt infrared laser comes in play because the super value pack if you buy it you're gonna get the two watt infrared laser so what's the difference between the two watt infrared laser and the 40 watt diode laser the main difference is its ability is to engrave on certain things the infrared laser is going to be able to see and engrave on things that the diode laser cannot and i found that when doing cups and, and stainless steel and stuff like that the infrared laser even though it's only two watt it actually outperforms the 40 watt to me i'm not a professional laser engraver or anything like that i'm sure there's people out there with way more experience than me I'm just giving you my personal opinion whenever I use the laser that's what I found now another feature that it comes with and this is standard pretty much every laser comes with this nowadays is air assist and air assist is basically just a little air pump that sits off to the outside of the machine it runs into the machine with a rubber hose and then whenever you're doing cutting it kind of blows away right there where the laser's cutting to keep that cut area clean and to allow the laser to stay focused and keep all the smoke and debris and everything out of the way you don't really use it so much when you're engraving it's typically a cutting thing now speaking of smoke and fumes and stuff one thing i forgot to mention that comes with value pack is the fume extractor now this is one of their top level packages where you get all this stuff and it's not super cheap but you are getting every single thing they have to offer at the same time now the fume extractor you basically hook it up to the laser and then you can use the laser indoors there's really no need to ventilate the laser out of a window or outside i've got this laser in my studio and the only way i could do that safely is hook it up to a fume extractor that removes all the harmful odors now that doesn't mean it's going to remove all the smells because i did still smell stuff now it wasn't strong but i could definitely tell something had gotten burned or something like that but it didn't just go straight all the way through the studio and just funk up everything it was manageable and you just had a slight hint of oh maybe something burned so it does work really well and if you're going to have this indoors i would highly suggest getting one because it's very convenient so you don't have to mess with running hoses out your window and then you know possibly leaving your window unsecure or drilling a hole through your wall of your house nobody ever wants to do that i guess the ideal place for one of these things would probably be in your garage or maybe outdoors in a covered area but if you don't have those luxuries then the fume extractor will get you there for sure so let's talk about some of the materials that this 40 watt laser can cut so just like with any diode laser you're going to be able to cut basswood plywood acrylics of various colors and thicknesses you're going to be able to cut through some plastics but one thing you're not going to be able to cut through is metal and i'm just going to say metal in general because even with really thin metals it's just it's not happening on a 40 watt laser now the same goes for engraving you're going to be able to engrave on woods on acrylics on various various plastics rubbers you can even engrave on paper if you have your settings right you can cut out paper you can cut and engrave cork boards and i mean there's just no limit to the stuff that you can do even vinyl i've used my laser kind of like a cricket before and cut out vinyl and i set it to where it only cut the vinyl and it didn't cut the backing so then i could peel the sticker and use it now there's several people on youtube that have done this and there's videos out there if you want to use your laser kind of like a cricket so i highly recommend going and checking those out now one thing you're not going to be able to cut or engrave straight out the box is going to be clear stuff so even with acrylics and glass you're not going to be able to engrave those things without doing some modifications now you can get some good engravings if you buy some marking spray and then you spray the clear glass and then you go ahead and engrave and then you wipe it off and there you go you have that etched smoke glass look and you can also achieve this by possibly doing spray paints or anything just to mark the surface so the laser doesn't go straight through so if you're buying this thing to do glasses and stuff like that then just be aware of that let's talk about the auto pastor attachment so the auto pastor attachment what that's going to do is you basically hook it up to the laser so with the auto pastor attachment you can extend the work area of your laser dramatically and once you have this thing attached it's going to allow you to engrave or cut things that are way bigger than the cut area of your laser 
as it sits straight out the box. So let's say you wanted to do a three foot long sign or something like that. You wouldn't be able to do that in the laser itself, but once you attach the pass through, but once you attach the pass through attachment, now you can. Now you've just extended your work area and now you can do those long boards or engravings and cuttings, whatever you want to do. Now, if you don't plan on doing things bigger than the laser, then I wouldn't get that attachment. It's only useful if you plan on doing things bigger than the laser. Now, speaking of not getting things, so although I got the super value pack, you don't have to get that. You can get just the laser or you can get the laser and the rotary attachment and kind of leave off everything else. You can kind of build this thing however you want. And that's typical on laser websites. You can just kind of add attachments and whatever it is that fits your needs. So yeah, just go take a look on the website if you decide you want to get the vision and figure out what you want to do, come up with a plan and then buy according to what you know that you plan to do. And you are going to have to buy material. These things, they come with little bitty testers, but you're definitely going to have to buy material. But the little bit of stuff that they come with, it's really just for like calibrations and testing and stuff like that. So if you want to get the vision and you're planning on ordering, it comes in two colors. It's going to come in this midnight blue color, the one that I have. And then it also comes in pearl white and it comes in a 40 watt or you can get the pro version, which is a 45 watt. And they even have a 20 watt if the 40 or 45 watts just too much for what you need to do. Now, price wise, these lasers, they are a little bit premium price just because they have all the auto focusing features. It comes with the software that's pretty much free. It has the HD camera. Overall, it's a very quality built machine. It's made out of metal and it's not a cheap plastic device. So even if you just go with the basic 40 watt, you're looking at somewhere around 1700 bucks for that one. Now, if you go up to the rotary pack, that one's around 1899. And if you bump up to the rotary with the feed through attachment, that one's 2499. And the super pack, like the one that I have that has the fume extractor, the two watt infrared laser, the rotary attachment, the feed through device. It's normally $47.99, but it's on sale right now for $29.99, which honestly, that's a great price. So if you're thinking about getting one, now is a pretty good time to do it. But honestly, if I were you, I would do your research, go check out some other videos, look at all the lasers, and then just use these review videos like mine as a way to form a decision on what you need. But I can tell you, if you're looking at the Vision 40 watt, the entire time I've had it, it's just worked. I've never had any issues out of it. Now I can tell you, do not forget to take out the rotary attachment. Don't ask me how I know that that will mess up your laser. Let's just say I found out, but I fixed it. It was a very simple fix, but yeah. Just don't forget to take out the rotary attachment. So overall, I would give the Vision 40 watt an eight out of 10 for usability and design. I deduct two points just because the price is a little bit premium, but again, you are getting a quality product. And I don't like the fact that when you lift up the lid, you lose your LED lights. So that's my review of the Vision 40 watt. If you guys wanna check it out, link in the description. And until next time, stay ready to 3D print.